Hey, welcome back. Maul here. Today I want to feature the new Guardian Hippo. So I've been using Hippo for a while now and she is an amazing hero. I'll just I'll tell you the bottom line up front. She's an amazing hero. She is really, really good. And let me, let me show you why. Because her ability, her special ability, is basically, it's a buff on herself that deals damage. So, I mean, from a, from a logic standpoint, I don't really understand how this works. Because um, it seems like it would need to be an ailment. But she deals damage after she goes off her... Her damage is dealt 225 damage to all enemies each time any other ally casts their special skill. What I think I didn't really realize when I first pulled her is that this bypasses, it doesn't just bypass defensive buffs. Bypassing defensive buffs is a skill that explains what direct damage, some direct damage can do, like from Sobek. This, it just deals damage. So it doesn't matter if the enemy has taunt. It doesn't matter if the enemy has dodge. They can't taunt. They can't dodge. There's no way to prevent this damage. They just take the full amount of the damage. The only thing that will reduce the amount of damage is if they have a defensive buff. But... Um, other than that, there's no way to stop the damage or prevent it. So, Hippo is a... I like... I've been messing around with a combo of Hippo and Sobek to take against teams that are Riposte heavy or uh, against teams that have Dodge. So, let's... Let's jump in here and... Let's do some battles, because there's no way to really show you what Hippo can do except uh, to jump into some battles. So let's go in, uh, let's go in here and search for some enemies. Okay, so here's the team that I've been, that I put together for Hippo. So the idea here is you want your, the rest of your team to be firing their specials as much as possible. So with Ludwig, you know, and his mana generation, that's going to fire off uh, Zanulfod and Milady de Winter here uh, over and over. And then I have two healers because keeping Hippo alive is important. So let's jump into this battle and see if we can test this out. Alright, we got a couple matches for Hippo so far. Let's see if we can get some matches for Ludwig. Alright. Alphod sets off Ludwig and heals the team. Now we just need to get this last match for Hippo. And this is perfect here because we're going to set off Bastet. So we'll start by setting up, okay, so this is great. We've got, you can see we've got Riposte on the whole team. Hopefully I don't kill this team too quickly. And you'll see this is a pretty meta team. This is a pretty good team. So we'll heal and Hippo does damage and bypasses the Riposte. 
Now we'll heal and mana up with Ariel. And Hippo hits them again. Now we'll do all the buff counters with Milady de Winter, and then Hippo fired again. So Milady de Winter killed herself on the repost. But um Okay, so now oh no, Bastet did not give us let's see, did not get the dodge. But it doesn't look like any of my heroes got the dodge. That was supposed to reflect. I've noticed this before. I think there's an issue with this. Um, hopefully, Small Giant will fix this because Bastet has reflects dispellable status effect buffs to a random enemy. Yeah, so that um, that dodge should have gone on to somebody on my team. Actually, probably should have gone on to Ludwig. But we will just heal, which is going to probably kill Bastet, because it just bypasses, the damage just bypasses all of their, their riposte and defensive buffs and all that, except for the actual defense up. That will reduce the amount of damage, but it doesn't obviously prevent it. All right, let's look for someone else here. Okay, so we've got a team here. Doesn't look like too threatening of a team, but I've put together a very defensive team that doesn't deal any damage except Hippo, so we can see how much damage Hippo can actually deal. Mm -hmm. Let's jump in here. Yeah, what we really need with this team is to cause cascades as much as possible. The first shot from Hippo there. They are really picking on Hippo. Let's get Black Knight going. Some defense up. Okay, we'll play this a little more strategically this time around. I'm going to actually charge the other heroes because I don't have a lot of blue matches, so can't really waste them. All right, it's pretty good. We're getting there. So there their whole the whole enemy team is full at this point and has some massive minions on there. So let's fire Hippo and we'll fire all of our healers here. And see what the team looks like after three shots from Hippo. Minions are gone. 
and they've got some damage. Now we got two more shots from Hippo. They do have the healer. It's helping them out. And their team's almost dead. Don't forget, Hippo gives plus 30% mana to everyone on your team. So as long as Hippo's still going, it's easier to charge your team, which helps Hippo to deal more damage. Alright, at this point, this team's getting pretty degraded. So, basically, once you get a little bit into a match, if you've got a very defensive team with Hippo, then, you know, you just give yourself time to get your defense going. Let's see, Hippo is not currently active, so we need to charge her up. And we can probably... Alright, this should end this battle. So, Hippo with Toxic. First shot from Hippo. Second shot from Hippo. Third shot from Hippo. And they're done. So my recommendation is to take a very defensive team. Because you don't need... I had zero... I have zero direct damage on that team. Let's just jump in and do another attack here. Uh, luckily they buried Gossick in the back. If you have Gossick, you want him out front. He needs to take damage. He needs to take tile damage to charge him and to reduce his hit points. Okay, so I'm going to continue to... Charge up the other heroes first here. All right. Now we'll go Hippo. Cleopatra. Black Knight. Toxicondra, that's one, two, oh no, that was three, okay. And their team's basically dead. Now we get another shot from Hippo. And they're degraded to the point of no return. Again, that plus 30% mana, especially with Toxicondra. Oh, great. Superior revive. This game. You just try not to throw any tiles into her.
man, maybe I should bring Luena on this team. And, can, and when I run across one of these superior revivers that just won't die. How many times are we going to do this? Finally. Okay. So there you go. That's three matches. Um, I think that was three. Back out of here and bring up Hippo again to look at her. So, the, the takeaway from this is that Hippo's attack stat is very high, and even though it's only 225 damage, she does a lot of damage. It's, you know, in that, if they have defensive buffs, like that, the defensive talent or a, a defense up stat going, then you could be looking at damage in the 250 range if they've got no defensive buffs and their defense isn't that high you could be looking at damage in the 550 range per hit so it averages out probably about 400 per hit 400 to 450 so she will kill a hero in about four three or four hits and she you know is unaffected by taunt, unaffected by repost, all of these things that people use to protect themselves. And you can set her off four times in one round if your other heroes are charged. So the next thing that I'm going to do, I don't have a lot of very fast heroes that are leveled up yet, but I am considering putting together a team with... Athos and El Duke and maybe um, Horus. I've got Horus. I just haven't finished leveling him yet down here. So we'll see. Maybe some very fast heroes with uh, with with uh, Guardian Hippo. Um, there's a lot of ways to play around with her special, but she's really, really key for those defenses that are very heavy like with Bastet as a as a um, tank especially if they've got Black Knight next to Bastet things like that that can make it very difficult to to hit anybody um, so that's it I would say that Guardian Hippo is probably sneaky good uh, really has a gives you the ability to to get around all of these special defenses and and really just take teams down. So the only real threat when you have Guardian Hippo on your team is losing Hippo. So, um, you know, if you're... You really, I say the most important thing when, when you're attacking with Hippo is to look at how the defense deals damage and then set up a very defensive attack team so that you can counter the damage that's coming towards you and as long as you have good counters and you can keep your heroes alive which is much easier when you're not focusing on how do you deal damage because with only five heroes usually at least three of those heroes on the attack team are focused on how do you deal damage so if you can only if you only have to focus on one or two dealing damage, it allows you the opportunity to throw a bunch of healers and defensive heroes in there. So it's just a different way of attacking, which I think is really interesting. And um, and so that's why I decided to feature Hippo here, because I, I really like to um, take a look at parts of this game that increase the, the fun, the strategy, um, you know, anything that gets away from dealing direct damage but still seriously impacts a team is is interesting in my opinion. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.